and I'll give you my score prediction right now. Oh, it's committing. I'm committing because this was my, as well as it was Dawson's, this was our pre-tournament tip for the for the final. We both called France-Argentina final. Yeah, as did Mudge. As did Mudge. Yep, shout out our boy Mudge. And I also predicted on the um, on the score, I predicted it to be 2-0 Argentina and I am not going to budge. I oh, you're sticking. I'm, I'm sticking, mate. I'm, I've, I've seen enough to uh, to back myself up there. Defensively, like I say, Argentina, I think they're quite good. France, defensively, I haven't looked good and I just think it could be two two clinical finishers possibly from the goat, the goat in waiting, however you want to call him. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think Argentina are going to do them. I'll uh, I'll just quickly give you my score prediction then, seeing as you've given yours. And again, pre-tournament, France over Argentina. I didn't have a score in mind, but that's what I went with. And I am going to budge. I'm going to do it. Ooh. I'm going to commit to jumping away from my pre-tournament prediction. And I'm going to go 1-1 after 90 minutes. And Argentina win 4-2 on penalties. Ooh. And again, that closing image on whatever TV coverage you're watching across the world is Lionel Messi holding up the Jules Reme trophy and cementing his legacy as the greatest football player of ours or any other lifetime. Aggie, yeah. what are you going for? I think you love a penalty shootout. It um, does, Danny. Yeah. Everything's oh, a mate. draw and someone's going to win on done? penalties. As long as we're not in it, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's don't, it. That's don't, it. Don't matter to me then. Um, I started by going for Brazil to beat France. Uh, sorry, France to beat Brazil in the final. Then France got loads of injuries, so I went for Brazil to beat France. Are you um, not budging from that either. No, I'm sticking <laughs> by Brazil winning. Um, no, I'm I'm going to go with Argentina. Uh, similar to what you both have said, that the, they've just got too much firepower against France, and I think it's written that it's going to be. Messi, he lifts the trophy, wins the the big one for Argentina, and then he retires from international football. And I think he got can to finish got on to. top there, can't he? He's got a great opportunity. And France, I, I think, in comparison to Argentina, especially when we played France, they didn't look like anything special. We we took the game to them. They didn't look like a side that was going to be worthy champions. They got the win and they managed to slug it out. And I think that's all you can probably say for them. Against Morocco, Morocco took the game to them and, and they struggled a little bit there. I think Argentina, since that defeat, have just had so much behind them and momentum behind them to be able to push forward. And I think against France, they're just going to be too strong for them. I've got a 1-0 win for Argentina, but it will, really wouldn't surprise me if there were another couple of goals in Argentina's favour there. Like you say, France are poor defensively. Lloris has got a, a at least got a mistake in him, in him. As Kemp would say, got yeah. one in him. <laughs> He's got a mistake waiting for him. So I'm, I'm going to go with Argentina to beat France. And if you're going to make me put a score, I'm going to put 1-0. We are going to make cool. you, mate. Always. Well, and we, none of us have even mentioned the um, the, the fan support. You know yeah. what that yeah. atmosphere is going to be like in that fight. It's going to be about probably 80% Argentinian. It's going to be like a South American game. Yeah. Um, and I think they're going to bring the noise. It's going to be an unbelievable atmosphere, I think. I can't wait for the national anthem. Yeah, yeah. Let's have it. Sunday, 3 p.m., Whatever TV coverage you want to watch across the world, I'll be BBC One for, for the great Guy Mowbray. But whether you get Sam Matterface on our TV, whether you get Peter Jory, if you're watching over in the US or any other part of the world, then it, it should be a classic. But yeah, I, I think a lot of people want Messi to lift it because if anyone deserves to, uh, I think you'd be hard to uh, argue against it being him. So yeah, let's have it. <laughs>